Well, all right, all right, all right. We are in Port of Entry this morning, and we're going to have us a Jurassic Park kind of day. So we're going to concentrate in that section of the park. We're going to ride Velocicoaster, King Kong, and River Adventure today, and then check out some restaurants and uh, just check out that whole area. I do want to take a tour of the uh, Camp Jurassic and check that out first thing this morning. So uh, let's go check this out. All right, so let's let this journey begin. So you better be ready when you do a rope drop here because uh, everybody's trying to get back to Haggard's. Haggard's will go from a 15 minute wait to an hour and a half within about 15 minutes. But since we're going to do Jurassic Park today, well, I'm not too worried about it because uh, nobody really goes over to uh, Velocicoaster first thing, which is my favorite ride here in the park. All right, so here we are, we are at at the Velocicoaster this morning, and there she goes. Wow, look at this, check it out. This is my favorite ride in the whole park. It's just absolutely beautiful ride. It's great, it's thrilling. 12 or 13 times you get air, you get that big old, big old loops. Just great, it's a great ride. Uh, so the wait time right now is only 10 minutes, and this is the lowest you will ever see it here. It's first thing in the morning. And I've taken my time to get back here. I mean, I don't know how many people have run by me to try to get back here, but it, uh, it's not, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to try to ride the front row this morning. Well, I'm not going to try. I am going to ride the front row this morning. So let's go get this thrill ride in. Here you have the, the Velociraptors here. Blue, Echo, Delta, and Charlie. They're gonna be, they're gonna let those guys loose and that's who you're gonna be racing. So uh, make sure you don't lose a hand or something while you're on this ride. Oh, here they are. Here they are. So let's go back and check out the uh, Jurassic Park Discovery Center right now. Let's see what all is going on in here. It's a little early, so everything might not be open yet. But you got some big lockers in here, and you got some merchandise. It's the first time I think I've seen that shirt. I like that shirt. I do like the uh, blue jean jackets. I wish I could find that big patch, and I'd put that on mine. But. Got a lot of nice stuff in here. So if you're a Jurassic Park fan, you definitely can find your uh, merchandise in here. You hatch your own little live dinosaur right here, and this would be what you'll get. They're $8, hatching a Velociraptor. So here you have some dinosaurs back here. Pretty cool. Ah, so I was getting ready to get out of here, but I noticed these uh, plushies back here. He got Doc, uh, John Hammond, and Owen back here. These are pretty cute. They're seventeen dollars. You got your Jurassic Park sweatshirt. Chaos Happens. That's a pretty cool design on that. Got these dino pillows right here. They're 35. These cups, coffee mugs. A little hard to get out. 
but they're seventeen dollars. A little tight in there for some reason. Okay. But you got some T-shirts here. And they're thirty dollars. The one on the left is thirty. So and this one's twenty-seven. So that's pretty cool. And then you've got some more little dinosaur plushies there, some Velociraptors. A pretty cool little backpack here. Little bum pack, a little purse, I guess, maybe. A little mug. T-Rex zipper for $20. Another t-shirt, probably uh, 30. Some more I don't know if those are pillows or not, but some more dinosaur. I like these handbags here, or these little backpacks they have here. Those are pretty cool. You got a, a Velocicoaster replica ride vehicle for 40. Oh, you've got the whole Velocicoaster there. For $200, you can have that. And then, Actually, you have the, uh, looks like a little Lego play set there also. It's pretty cool. But you can put that together yourself. All right, so this is, uh, this is actually behind the three broomsticks. This is actually one of my favorite viewing areas right here for Jurassic Velocicoaster, but, uh, 270. Wow, I never noticed that boat down there before. There's actually a little boat over there. It's the USS Raptor. That's pretty cool. So they must have stuff that they uh, go out and get out of the pond, out of the little lake here. But anyway, back to the Velocicoaster. The top hat's 155 feet. Features two launches at 70 miles an hour and two, 12 different inversions. So this is a uh, this is my favorite ride. This is uh, by far my favorite ride in the whole park. Both parks, actually. And I come down here and ride this almost every Saturday. Uh, so right now, it's a 35 minute wait when I walked over here and when I rode it, went straight back there, it was a 10 minute wait, but that was at 8.47. And Hagrid's, when I just walked by, was 135 minutes. So uh, they get ready to open up the rest of the park here, so we'll head up into uh, Jurassic Park area and uh, ride River Adventure and ride King Kong and check out Camp Jurassic. Ah, so here we are, Jurassic Park, Islands of Adventure. Let's check it out. Uh, so as soon as you come in this section of the park here, you have the watering hole. And it's actually a Coke stop, so you got your freestyle cups over here to the left. But let's check out what they have here at the watering hole. All right, so you got your specialty drinks here. You can get a Raptor Pack Spritz for $11. So you can get your alcohol here. Here's just more of the specialty drinks. And some, some of those alcohol drinks are $18.50. So that's pretty, pretty high. You can get a pretzel here, novelty ice cream. You get a Chardonnay, and you got your canned beer, which is going to run you anywhere from uh, $10.50 to $13.50 for a Foster's. The burger digs right here, so we'll check this restaurant out. Here's another entrance to the uh, Jurassic Park Discovery Center, and then you have the Dino Store. So I'm going to check out the Dino Store. It's uh, different from the one down at the bottom, so we'll check and see if they have any other different merchandise in here. Some cool hats, you got some bucket hats there. You got, you got Dr. Grant hat, looks like. So let's check it out. Well, maybe a few different things in here. Doesn't really, oh, well, I guess these are, uh, I got some uh, little, Dinosaurs there eating. I don't, know, I don't know what that is. Chicken? Is that a chicken coming out of its mouth? A few different things here. Nothing, nothing majorly different though. You get some uh, necklaces and stuff from Jurassic Park. They probably have the uh, amber. Yeah, they have the amber, but I don't think it'll have any dino DNA in it. 
this is pretty cool up here. I mean, this is uh, this is about as close to the Jurassic Park entrance as you can get right here. Look at this. This is so cool. And here's your big T-Rex. All we need now is a Velociraptor to come out and jump on his back, get chased around in here. Uh, so what all do we have here at the uh, Burger Digs? You got a bacon cheeseburger for $15.49, a Casado burger for $17.49. That's Costa Rica inspired. Angus patty, plantains, avocado, pork belly. And then your healthier choices, which to me are not healthier choices. Since I am a carnivore, I'm gonna eat the same thing that a T-Rex is gonna eat. And then here's your, uh, some sides here. You got your chili cheese fries, french fries and onion rings. Uh, you got some beer, draft, anywhere from 12.50 up to 12. Upgrade to a souvenir pilsner for three dollars. So that's pretty pretty good stuff here. So we're going to check out the other places and see what they uh, also have. Uh, so uh, the Pizza Predatoria is not open right now. Sorry we missed you. Thunder Falls or Burger Digs is your alternative dining options right now. But uh, right here is the Raptor Encounter. I don't think it opens up until after 10 so we'll come back and check that out yeah opens up at 10 o'clock so your raptor encounter doesn't open up until 10. Uh, so here's your river adventure but i'm probably going to bypass this and just go straight down to camp jurassic right now because it's only a 10 minute wait here and it won't be much longer than that here within about 30 minutes or so so let's go check out camp jurassic Ah, so this is uh, Camp Jurassic here. It's a neat little area. Got some caves and some rope bridges you can walk around. It also has the pterodon flyers in here for the kids, which uh, if you don't have kids under a certain height, you can't ride it. So uh, let's go check it out. Ah, so we're going to go this way right here and check this side here out this today. Let's uh, see what all we can find here. It's, like I said, this is a great area for kids to come in and explore and burn off some energy. Uh, just watching the family come up. I think they were from Britain. Uh, the one son could ride, but the other son could not. He was only about two inches taller than what the limit is, but they turned him back. So the whole family just walked away, which is sad to me. I mean, come on, make a... We got two young kids. Go ahead and make a, make a, uh, I guess, an ex not an example, but let them ride. Oh, didn't check this out last time. But yeah, this is a great little area. It's got a little splash pad on it, which is pretty cool. Got all these rope bridges. Got a got a slide here feet first on the slide but this is just a great little area for the kids to play in they've got all of these rope bridges and stuff in here which is really cool different slides different areas Such a great little place here. And the pterodon flyers is flying right over top of your head the whole time you're in here. Which I think uh, I'd love to have been able to ride that. Just didn't think about it with when the Lonnie was that small. Cavern. Check this out. Wow. Different sound effects in here. Must be amber down there. That's pretty cool. Stalactites, stalagmites. Getting propped up. Rope bridge over there. Let's go check that rope bridge out. Ooh. Wow. Some different 
good stuff down in there. A little spooky in here, actually. A little spooky. It's an exit. Where are we going here? This is uh, a little different in here. just sound effects everywhere in here. A little spooky in there walking around in that cavern with those sound effects. But there goes one of the flowers. Oh, wow. It's spooky. Got dinosaur footprints everywhere. Wow. I think, uh, I think I'm ready to skedaddle and get out of here. Look at all these rope bridges and everything. Well, this is a great little area for kids to play in. So let's just walk around here and uh, see where this leads. Uh, I got wet surface. Maybe it goes into another another area for the uh, splash pad or something. Let's see what all we have back here. I kind of feel like a raptor is going to come out of the uh, with all this misting going on back here. Oh, well, check these guys out. That's pretty cool. Uh, I see what's going on here now. You can sit up there and shoot down to these guys. This is the, uh, these are dangerous right here. These guys will take you out. Oh, wow, look at that. Ah. You can sit here and play with your friends. Get your parents wet back here, kids. Talk them into sitting up there and not let them know. All right, so let's, uh, let's get out of here. And so this is Camp Jurassic. Great area for the kids. All right, so it's a 10 minute wait here for River Adventure. Let's go check it out. Got a little miniature model of the Jurassic Park, the original Jurassic Park in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, so why do you do that first thing in the morning? Just to get another bath before you leave the park. That's, uh, I always get wet on that ride, but I always enjoy it. Uh, so you can get your pictures here. You got your picture pass. Neat little store here again. Oh, I like these canteens you can get back here. So, ah, Jurassic Park shirts and shorts. I like those. They're pretty cool. Ah, so that shirt right there is seventy-five dollars. Got some more plushies here. Ah, check these canteens out here. That's pretty cool. I like the canteens. All right, Molly, there you go. There's a, there's the end for you. All right, so let's check out and see. Oh, there it comes. Whoa, there we go. Uh, not getting wet there. The boat's only about half loaded. Let's check out this viewing area here. All right, here they come. Oh, oh, wow. There only two people on that boat. Wow. Wow. All right, well, let's go ride Kong. All right, so Johnny, where are you at today, John? Oh, there's Johnny. All right, so Kong's only a 10-minute wait. Let's go get us some Kong in. All right, Johnny, I thought you was outside, Johnny. Johnny Kong. Johnny Kong. So you got several photo opportunities here, and this one's my favorite right here. So this is, I love this right here. This is great right here, I love it. 
Uh, so you can do your mobile order right here at Thunder Falls Terrace. Uh, I've never, we've never eaten in here. I don't think we might have at one time years ago, but we'll check it out here. It opens up at 11 o'clock, so we're not going to eat here right now. All right, so the uh, Raptor Raptor Encounters opened up. It's like 10, 10, 10 after 10, so I'm going to go back and uh, see if I can get in the Raptor Encounter line. All right, so the Raptor Encounters are 25 minutes. Let's check them out. You're doing great. Can you wave? Now, now sometimes when people come up by themselves, the Raptor actually thinks that you're challenging her. Hey! You're gonna want to go quick. Let's quick little beach. Get out of the All right, so let's go into uh, the burger digs here and see what we can get for lunch. All right, so I won't be eating the majority of what I'm gonna be getting here, but they've got dig your own here. You've got some lettuce, some tomato, looks like cucumber on this little platter here that you can put on your burger. And then on the other side, you have your ketchup, mayo, mustard, salt. Looks like you got some dipping sauces there. So, uh, but yeah, you've got your different uh, condiments here. And I'm gonna set outside uh, and watch the Velocicoaster. Well, you yeah, can set outside out here. Enjoy a view of the park and the Velocicoaster. So I didn't get the price on this, but I did get my uh, pass holder discount. So this is like $18, and I'm all, all I'm going to eat off this is the piece of cheese, the two uh, two uh, pieces of bacon, and that's going to be it. So, uh, but didn't get a drink with it either. So I had my freestyle cup and got water before I came in. All right, so uh, I just had my uh, lunch at uh, the Burger Digs, and uh, I can honestly say I wish I hadn't done it. The, uh, the meat was all right, the bacon was all right, the cheese was all right, but uh, for, uh, for what I paid for that, just to eat those uh, uh, items, the best part of it was the water. So uh, but anyway, I could have had a uh, good ribeye for what I just paid for that and cooked at the house. But anyway, you're in the theme park, so you gotta do theme park things. All right, so uh, I had a great morning here at Islands of Adventure going around Jurassic Park and enjoying everything that Jurassic Park has to offer. I've got to go do some shopping now. I've got to find some pants because it's going to be in the low 50s here next week or high 50s at night. So in the morning it's going to be cold. And I have no pants that I can actually wear right now because uh, I've dropped from a 36 to a 32. Not since I've been here, but over the last four months. So. Uh, I need to buy some pants. Uh, so uh, we'll go to Costco, see what they have. Maybe head over to Disney, maybe Disney Springs. But anyway, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, more Universal and Central Florida videos. But uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Stay frosty and remember, Islands of Adventures calling your name.